when Thomas puffed along his branch line, he always looked forward to something special. The sight of the river. As he rumbled over the bridge, he would see people fishing. Thomas often wanted to stay and watch, but his driver said, no. What would the fat controller say if we were late? Every time he met another engine, he would say, I want to fish. But they all had the same answer. Engines don't go fishing. Silly stick in the muds, thought Thomas. One day, he stopped as usual to take in water at the station by the river. Out of order? Bother, said Thomas. I'm thirsty. Never mind, said his driver. We'll get some water from the river. They found a bucket and some rope and went to the bridge. Then the driver let the bucket down to the water. The bucket was old and had five holes. So they had to fill it, pull it up and empty it into Thomas's tank as quickly as they could, several times over. Finished at last. That's good, that's good, puffed Thomas, and Annie and Clarabel ran happily behind. Suddenly, Thomas began to feel a pain in his boiler. Steam began to hiss from his safety valve in an alarming way. There's too much steam, said his driver. 